Point TV. Hi, I'm Raymond Bonnefon. Today, we'd like to briefly talk about runabouts. To help us understand a little bit about driving a runabout, here is a brief given by runabout driver Ed Hearn at the 2009 Stock Outboard Nationals held in Grass Lake, Michigan. A runabout is significantly different from a hydro because a runabout does not ride on a cushion of air. So the driver has to make sure that the boat has the correct attitude. You get all the way in the back of the boat, I actually cross my legs and get down, and you work the boat by pushing the steering wheel. And if the boat starts to hop, you have gotta push the boat back down. Turn it, you jump in the front, and roll up like this. And the boat goes around the corner like that. You have to watch the water because the track changes literally instantly in the entire three laps. You actually have to work the boat and jockey the boat to keep it running at the right attitude. If you let the boat hop, it scrubs speed off and uh, you can quickly go from first to last. There are generally two types of hulls used in the runabout ranks, the roll-up and the flat turner. The hull of the roll-up boat is designed to carve through the turns, whereas the hull of the flat turner is designed to slide through the turns more like the hydros do. Driving technique is a little different for each hull, but each is easily learned and mastered. In a later Michigan Hydro Plane Quick Tip episode, we will study the differences between these two boats in more detail, but in order to compare and contrast the differences today, here are a few clips of both styles negotiating turn two. In this clip, you see roll-up boats banking or carving through the turn. In this next clip, you can see how flat turners slide through the turns. These still shots may provide a different perspective to help you see the differences. More information on runabouts can be found at www.stockoutboard.net. For more information about those that build runabouts along with other equipment related resources, go to apba-racing.com and click on the resources link to bring up the resources directory. Then click on the where to buy link. Once at the where to buy page, scroll down to see the list of equipment resources. If you don't find the answer to your question there, please feel free to contact us at michiganhydroplane.com Michigan Hydroplane on Facebook, Michigan Hydroplane YouTube channel, or Michigan Hydroplane at gmail.com. We will get you the answer you're looking for. Do you want to go racing? Just ask us out.